How's it going Mechanetics? Today I'll be going over Icon's half inch ratchets, both being flex head. The reason why I'm going over both of them is because they're overall the same, the only difference being the total length. This one being around 12 inches and then the longer profile being around 17 and a half. So the longer reach flex head will be costing you around $62.99 where the original flex head ratchet will be costing you $46.99. I got both of them in comfort grip. There's really no price difference between comfort grip or a chrome finish. If you're debating on which one to get, I do recommend starting out with the original flex head, the $46.99. Simply because when first starting out, I really don't think you need a long reach ratchet. You just need the basics. The longer reach one does have some limitations since in the end of the day it is longer and sometimes you don't have that accessibility. So this is my half inch ratchet. I've had this for around 6 months now I believe and it's been getting a lot of jobs done, mostly working on brakes. I really don't like using impact guns when working on brakes and sometimes you can over torque it or you might strip the bolts and that's something you don't want. With this ratchet I feel you really don't run into that problem. As you can see it's gotten quite dirty and this is after I cleaned it for this video so it will get dirty just expect it to get dirty. This is the, the unboxing of the longer reach ratchet. Well, first, as you can see, it comes with that cloth to clean the chrome finish. I, I don't get it. I mean, it's, it's nice as a souvenir, but I don't get it. You can see that, that bright new red on that ratchet and you won't see it once you start using it honestly but it's good because you do want to get your money's worth out of these the box i i, I don't know i like them like they're nice but um, it's hard to really store when you're working constantly with these ratchets because it's hard to get them to stick in and then harder to store them to come out so i just throw these on my toolbox and just work like that the on off switch on both of these ratchets are really good it's really nice working with these ratchets and when first starting out like i really like learning with these ratchets simply because i didn't know my loosening from my tightening so the on off switch really helped me and as a beginner again like you really want that help you don't want to make your life hard when first starting out So this is in comparison with the 3 8 Pittsburgh Ratchet, I believe. The Icon beats it by a little bit. And then this is the comparison between the other Flex Head Ratchet. So like I said, I used the longer reach one as a breaker bar. That's really usually all I need it for. Well, that's not true. I also use it a lot when aligning vehicles. I feel it's good to loosen something on the rear vehicles without having the vehicle actually moving because you don't want that when aligning a vehicle. The last thing you want is to move the car. So the longer reach one is really good for that. The 12 inch in length flex head ratchet 
I've used it for brakes, alignment as well, shocks. There's really, I've used it for everything. I've used it to do Toyota oil filters with the canisters. I just slip on a 24 millimeter socket and then attach the oil filter removal tool for the Toyota canisters and it just pops off, you know, like it, it's, it's really good. They're both really sturdy in that way. And if you really are beginning and don't want to waste too much money, but also want a quality tool, these are the tools I'd recommend. These are the tools I use on a daily basis. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments on these tools, feel free to comment down below. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. More videos and tutorials coming your way. And until next time, this has been MechaWorks.